Hello everyone, Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense. Thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be about installing a side saddle on a shotgun. So a side saddle is something that will go on the side receiver of a shotgun and carry extra shells. Why would you need this? The shotgun has a limited capacity. The tube on there, depending on manufacturer, you know, may range somewhere around five to seven rounds or eight rounds, somewhere around there. It's not a whole lot of rounds in a gun. So it's almost like a revolver in a sense compared to a semi-automatic. Uh, you just don't have a lot of rounds in the gun to be working with. Now, granted, the payloads going through a shotgun are pretty devastating. And some would argue that you don't really need that many rounds. However, there's others who argue that more rounds the better. And I fall into that category, more ammo the better. And so I like the idea and the ability to have a side saddle on the gun versus um, a shell carrier on the belt or um, shells in a, a pouch of some sort. When it comes to a, you know, a fighting gun for home defense or, or what have you, uh, going to that gun may be the only thing you are able to grab and get into the fight. And what's on the gun is what you got. If you weren't able to grab a support vest, equipment, bag, whatever, then what you're left with is what you got. And with a shotgun, what you're left with is how much you can hold in the tube. This particular model right here, um, I can hold, I believe it is six in the tube, and uh, I can load one into the breach and have a total of seven rounds on board the shotgun but those seven rounds is all I've got so I want the ability to have more rounds so that if this is the only thing I get to grab then I've got extra stuff on there same concept with an AR-15 and having one of those buttstock magazine pouches on there or having a mag coupler on the rifle or going with a larger uh, capacity magazine like a 40 rounder or um, one of those 60 rounders or something like that so that your first initial magazine in the fight you are having the most amount of rounds that you would like or most amount of, most amount of rounds as possible what I'm going to be doing today is installing this when it comes to side saddles, you have Velcro. Well, Velcro is a brand name, and you also hear hook and loop. And this is the hook side. It's the hard plastic with, get that in there right, the little raised sides. And the loop part is the soft side. Other styles of saddles, which I don't have here, are saddles that would you would take these out and affix the plastic or metal piece and then put these back in there and it becomes basically permanently affixed to the side of the receiver. Now, of course, the Velcro or hook and loop, whatever you want to call it, is going to end up becoming permanently attached as well. Uh, but um, if this, if this, uh, fails in any way then the simplest thing is to use some goo gone get rid of the adhesive that was left there and then just redo it with the other options here you can shear the thing break the ends and once that breaks you're gonna have to buy another one and go from there here the only thing if you need to buy anything else is more loot now you may hear some people argue that temperature can affect adhesives and that's true 
and they'll say, oh, you know, the shotguns will get so hot, this will this will melt right off. Um, I, I haven't seen that before, and I haven't heard about it. Is it possibly conceivable that, um, you know, this could be sitting in a car, and the high temps get to it? That's conceivable. But, uh, again, I haven't heard people talk about that issue. When installing your side saddle, the first thing you need to do is make sure that the gun you're working with is unloaded, which I've already done, and you'll need to do some prep work, use some rubbing alcohol and a rag, and apply it to the area that you're going to be putting the adhesive. And we do this so that we can remove any oils uh, from the side of the receiver that would have a negative effect with the adhesive and cause it just not to, to stick very well. So we'll rub the side with rubbing alcohol, let that dry out, and then, depending on the model, for example, this one is a pump, you need to actuate the pump. Reason being, is right over in here, if I were to put this as far forward, actually I'll just use this for the example, I was to put this as far forward right there and go to move this pump back it would impede so obviously just 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 fell off because it's not obviously attached but if this was fully velcroed on then this pump would be hitting it and not allowing you to fully pump all the way. So you can see, boom, meets right there. And on the other side, it's not even fully open yet and you have to keep pushing more to get it fully open. So run your pump all the way back to see how much of the pump covers on the receiver. Other uh, shotgun designs, you know, or pump designs um, may leave you with different uh, space. This particular shotgun is a Remington 870 Express Magnum. So once I've unloaded the gun, prepped the sight, and ran the pump back, I took the Velcro, laid it down, to see what it was going to be covering and I noticed that it was going to be covering the serial number and these two um, screws right here. I decided to go ahead and just cut just a little section out to leave the serial number visible. That way I could never be accused of trying to deface the serial number or something like that which yeah defacing you know means taking a chisel or something like that and trying to completely erase it uh, covering it up you know with a sticker or velcro could that be construed as defacing a serial number uh, that's something that would could be argued in a courtroom and just to alleviate any potentialness of having to argue that in a courtroom I just decided to leave it uncovered and I also if I needed to in the future disassemble this any further for some type of work on the gun. I did not want to run into the situation where these would be covered and now I'm having to take an X-Acto knife or something and dig around in this thing trying to figure out where exactly that pin could be and and just messing up the whole area and cutting gouges into the receiver and stuff like that. So I just decided to cut a little section out that way it would leave it open and I still have enough quote unquote real estate right here for the hook side to attach to and it not go anywhere. So it's even with this little section missing, I have nothing to worry about. So once you've got everything laid out, then you can remove the adhesive and keep it on here. So I'll make sure my pumps pushed all the way back take the adhesive off or I'm sorry the backing to the adhesive off I'm 
All right. I've already obviously wiped the surface with the rubbing alcohol. I just decided to do that before filming to maximize my time. And that way you're not watching me clean this gun and be all boring. So, boom, right where I want it. Press down. Work it down, get any potential air bubbles out. Press down. And voila, I now have the soft part of Velcro or hook and loop, whatever you want to call it, installed on the side of the receiver. The pump is not touching it any. My serial number is visible and these pins can be easily taken out. I'm not having to take a knife and cut into it and put gouges in the receiver, just trying to figure out where exactly these could be at. I had, I did initially think, well, I could just you know, leave the border on here and then cut out little round spots or, or cut out, you know, just a little slit for the cereal. And I thought, nah, that'd probably, you know, be a, a weak point right here. And I'd probably end up, you know, maybe with the corner starting to peel or something. So I've just, I just thought it'd be best just to cut me a little section out and leave it at that and still have enough here to be able to work with. So I've got this side installed. The next side, not doing this side, but the next side of this gun would be the stock. And I'll do that off video um, and then I'll just post the pictures later of what I've got. But a little bit into why uh, a side saddle is is important um, so a side saddle allows you to carry more ammo and the shotgun is depending on the the, the manufacturer and the model it is already uh, neutered in a sense when it comes to capacity uh, typically tubes you know hold anywhere from like five to, to six rounds or you know five to seven rounds something like that and uh, what's in the gun is what's in the gun and if you need to reload then you need to put shotgun shells in your pocket put them in a, a, a pouch on a little belt mount or put them in your vest whatever and so when you go to need to reload the shotgun now you're working off your support equipment be it your your belt your pocket a vest whatever um, if you don't grab that support gear and all you have is the time and opportunity to grab the shotgun then that's what you're left with you know if you're if you got seven rounds in that shotgun that's all you got with that shotgun so a side saddle allows you the ability to have reloads on the side obviously hence the name side saddle duh now you can have the permanent mounts where you back these out put your plastic or, or metal contraption on the side, put these back in and it is permanently affixed to that receiver. One downside to that is once you offload all those shells from that side saddle and you need more shells, well now you're back to working off your, your vest or your pouch or, or something like that. And if you were wanting, you know, the side saddle to be uh, recharged, so to speak, or reloaded, well then you'll need to take the time to reload each of those little individual holders after topping off the shotgun. The Velcro saddles allow you to just, you know, boom, slap it down on there, and then once this is empty, you just 
rip that off and you throw another one on there. So you could have these loaded with buckshot, you can have one just loaded with just slugs, what have you. Um, and you run the gun empty, you run the side saddle uh, empty, you rip the old one off, throw the other one on there and start start going from there. Or you can just you know have different setups, what have you. You can have um, two of these um, back to back and these would fit down into an AR-15 magazine pouch and you can just pull it out of the magazine pouch and slap it on the side of the gun and work from there. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down in the comments section. If you like what you see, go ahead and give me a subscribe. Head on over to the Facebook page and do the same over there. Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense, thank you for watching.